and welcome to today's video on the channel where I'm back at Chesington and I'm doing a Jumanji Land update because some major, major things have been happening. It's gone vertical, some ride structures have been put in place, some support, which is so exciting. Um, and we've got the Jaguar who's being cemented, um, kind of almost done. Loads of stuff is happening here at Jumanji today. So come check it out with me because it is awesome. So I mention it in most of my videos, but if you do want to follow along with the Jumanji updates online at Chesington's website, you can scan this QR code here to follow along and as it says, be the first to know what's going on. So as you can see through this gap here, the Jaguar statue has been cemented the majority of the way. You can see at the back there it hasn't and it has got its teeth structure there and its eyes as well and its body. Yeah, it's quite interesting, I'm going to have another look at the angles that we can get for that. But it seems the Jaguar is slowly, or even quite quickly, coming along. Here you are then, a bit of a closer look at the head that's been cemented. You can see obviously the bit that hasn't been done yet. But its tooth structure is coming along since I've last seen. Yeah, it's looking really, really cool. You can see the structure at the top of his head which has been cemented. Yeah. So here's another angled look at that structure that's been put in. I've just noticed as I was looking as well, a brand new structure piece has been put into place. So this is a new update, I haven't seen anyone post this online. So it's a new one for today. We've got a second support structure being put in place, which is absolutely awesome. So over here by the ride's entrance, so where you basically get on the ride, the structure has had this put up, this kind of beams put up, as well as some sort of, I don't know how to say it, some cover up, so you can't really see out apart from where you obviously go out the ride whilst you're on the ride, which is interesting. And obviously we can't see it, but some cement work has also been put in place down here for this part of the attraction. So also some green fencing has been put up in the rides area. So that's kind of the main thing for today, which is quite a big development, obviously, that it is now going vertical. Things are being put in their places. So it does seem that the ride and the whole land is set to open in 2023 and from the looks of it it's on track with the thing that's going on with the support as well as the Jaguar over here and the ride station and then we have also got I'm gonna credit Chesington Buzz here it seems that the eye for the Jaguar which is going in the center has arrived on park so we should hopefully be seeing that put in place very very soon here at Jumanji it's very very exciting so you can see as well that some more supports are here on the land. They haven't been put up yet, but they are here on site. So down here at Sea Lion Bay, they are building some sort of um, canopy, I do believe, for the sea lions, whether this is regarding just in general or for the shows. This is the structure that's up at the moment, just the metal and the poles. Yeah, it's very exciting for the sea lions. Obviously, they haven't got any sort of shade around here in the enclosure at the moment. But, as you believe, that's what be, what's being built for them at the moment. Yeah, there they are, just swimming. It's lovely and hot today as well, so they're having a good time. So, down here at Blue Barnacle, we've now got some goats in the land. Um, they've also had a little structured um, shed being built for some indoor spacing. But yeah, this is the first time I've seen them. Uh, there's two at the moment. I don't know if there is any more. But I haven't shown you guys this update, so we have now got goats down by Blue Barnacle. So quite a major thing that Chesington as well 
has got kind of permission to build are the new safari lodges here at Chesington. So they're going to be by the hotel entrance as you drive in. I'm going to put some pictures up for that now on the screen. That is very, very awesome. Just thought I'd let you guys know about that. Yeah, pretty cool. Some new, obviously, new places to stay here at Chesington. So the jungle bus here at Chesington is going to be making a return hopefully this year. We have got the water test dummies in just behind you know, this kind of barrier here. There is some work going on in here today. There are diggers digging. As you can see, hopefully through there, the bus kind of is back on its structure. And there is, I do believe, a new um, kind of booth for the ride operator. It says jungle bus on the side of it. I'll try and get a shot of that in a bit. Well, obviously, this is coming back hopefully at some point this year obviously it's usually open at christmas so we'll hopefully be being see a return of this very soon yes yeah, so you can see that construction is going on down here at the jungle bus today it's nice and interesting there we go so that is what i believe the operator's hut here at Jungle Bus as well. So it's not an update here at Chesington, but I thought it'd be nice to know that you can donate to the Chesington Conservation Fund uh, down here in the land of Tiger. So this little donation box is just next to the entrance and does overlook Tiger Rock here. But I just thought it was a nice little piece of information to know just in case you'd like to support Chesington's Conservation Fund. It's not really an update, but as I was heading out of the land of the tiger, we've got Mr. Mole over here, who obviously used to be part of Toadie's cars, um, behind Dragon's Fury. Which is very interesting, I never noticed that. So whether he's recently been put there, I don't know, but he is here. He is still on park. And as well by the hotel entrance and around the park and the other entrance, there is lots of signs regarding ride access now before you enter the park. So then around the park, we've got the next event starting 15th to 30th of October, Halloween. So some advertisement is just starting to go up for that. And we'll see what else there might be for Halloween. So our first Halloween update is that down here by um, where the Vile Villagers was last year um, in the Wild Woods towards Vampire, it has all been closed off with the barriers. So I'm assuming this is for that they're getting ready for Vile Villagers return for Halloween. You can see just through there, there's some sort of box, I guess, regarding Halloween. And you can just see it as well through this green one. Not as well, but you can see it just through there. But now the Wildwoods walkthrough has been closed off till Halloween for the return of Vile Villagers. So you can't access this at the moment and we won't be able to see Jumanji's updates over there. That's very interesting. Seems that Chesington is in the process of Halloween. So down here, kind of by the main entrance, which isn't the hotel entrance, we've got some pumpkins up for Halloween. There's some more advertisement here at the park for that. As you can see, it is very, very quiet today here on park. So down here at Chesington, unfortunately towards the end of Wilderfest, the main stage has actually been closed. So you're unable to watch the shows here. But if I just come around the corner here to show you the sign outside, it does seem that they might be setting up for Halloween, the stage, with, you know, the black curtains and everything, which is a good sign that it might be up and running for Halloween. But I would assume with these black curtains or, you know, fabrics up, that Halloween, the main show, will be down here. You'll see the Wilderfest, they obviously haven't got around to changing it, advertisement is still up. But yeah, hopefully this will be up and running, ready for Halloween. Does look like it, which is good. So out here by the hotel entrance there is some more advertising for Halloween. So that is it here then at Chesington for the current episode of the Jumanji Construction Updates. Just so much has been happening, um, so many updates. It obviously seems like it's on track to open in 2023. 
um, and then we've also had some different updates around the park regarding Halloween which is super exciting so I hope you enjoyed the video make sure to comment like and subscribe I hope you're enjoying these Jumanji updates because I'm certainly recording them and having a good time seeing what's going on so I'll see you guys in the next video and stay tuned on the channel bye guys